Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hollywood Matt Connolly with the double biceps. It is in the contract, a legal requirement. Every single time we appear on camera, we've just returned from the Arm Gods press conference. If you haven't already, please go over to armgods.com and check out this insane Valhalla card, which will be taking place tomorrow. There is 17 absolutely legendary matches would be taking place on this card and we saw each guy get their moment on the microphone jake ward the aussie arm wrestler was the mc and what a tremendous job he did making sure that everyone was interested and invested in seeing uh the personality of every athlete that was competing on this card. And there are some absolute, absolute legends of arm wrestling that will be on this show. And uh, we've got guys like Tim Bresnan, we've got Ron Bath, we've got Ryan Bowen, we've got some of these big name athletes in the sport of arm wrestling. Uh, some some guys that I found out tonight that Ron Bath has actually been competing for 42 years in arm wrestling, which is insane. I am 42 years old. Ron Barth has been competing for 42 years. That That is me. It's 1981 was when he started. And he is an absolute legend in the arm wrestling world. Uh, had uh, some great conversations with, with nearly all the guys on the card, uh, including Ron, uh, Tim Bresnan. We were talking about his, his cars and his farm. Uh, it's, it's, it, if you haven't been to an Arm Gods event, you are missing out because you get the opportunity to chat with the legends of arm wrestling. And everyone's just there and they're all friendly and, and lovely. As, as I said, on I did a live earlier today uh, and I was saying it was like stepping into a pay-per-view <laughs> It's like, you know, if you're watching an event on TV uh, or on, on stream, it's like just sort of melting into that. And now you are part of that, that room and you can walk up to everyone and say hello. And it's very strange. It's sort of surreal and it has been incredible. Uh, obviously, we're here in Ireland in Carlingford, the the town of, a town of about uh, 1,500 people. It's about an hour away from Dublin. And uh, yeah, so Marcus Thompson, who is one of the owners of Arm Gods, an absolute legend, what a wonderful guy he is and has put me up uh, in one of the, uh, uh, it's called Carlingford House. It's a hotel here. So I'm very thankful to Marcus and uh, and to obviously uh, Paul Maiden as well, who is the other owner of Arm Gods and uh, it, tremendous job they've got. Uh, the, the tomorrow is going to be insane. Like the setup that they've got for this event, there's going to be fireworks. There's going to be uh, the, the room's going to be red. There's so many lights that they've spared no expense to make sure that everyone who's in that room tomorrow is going to have an, an amazing time. Uh, the big talking point, obviously, and you'll see a lot of this, I'm sure, uh, was the moment between Uncle John and Evan Burgoyne or Beer Man. Uh, at the very end of the press conference, and I'm sure that this will be the focal point. Uh, <laughs> they've, they've got a thumbtack match, which will be taking place at the very end of the pay-per-view card <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Basically, uh, the the pin pad will be completely covered with thumbtacks. And I was with a Fox 8 ball earlier today as he was super gluing all these tacks all over the pad. And it's not like a tack every now and then. That is completely covered from end to end in very sharp thumbtacks. So it means when you get pinned, <laughs> you're going to get stabbed multiple times in the hand. These guys have some bad blood between each other and uh, a lot of trash talk going on back and forth. Uh, that came to a head when Jake Ward, the Aussie arm wrestler, brought them up to the table. They handed him each a microphone and uh, we heard some back and forth trash talk going on between the two of them, which culminated in Beer Man smacking uh, Uncle John in the side of the head with either a beer bottle or a beer can. I couldn't see from where I was, but there was beer that exploded everywhere. It was a very big hit on Uncle John. He went down, like he went completely face down uh, for for a, probably a, a good 10 seconds <laughs> before he managed to jump back up again and, and continue uh, sort of the, the yelling that was going on between the two of them. But uh, a crazy moment. I'm sure that's going to be clipped and, and replayed everywhere. But there was blood all over the floor, all over the table, uh, Uncle John was bleeding pretty bad. I'm I'm literally hoping that he is okay 
to be able to compete tomorrow, that, that blood, for that amount of blood to come that quickly, uh, yeah, that was that was a big hit. And uh, I went into the bathroom later on in the night. There was blood drops all over the floor and then, like, just a paper towel covered in blood that was on the sink. I was like, oh my God. And it was, like, saturated with blood. So... Uncle John taking a very big hit from Evan Bergoyne. And uh, if that doesn't hype you up for the match, oh, I was excited about that match already. But, uh, yeah, that's going to bring a lot of attention. And uh, one of the things that Arm Gods is known for is is having those outside-of-the-box sort of moments and uh, being able to create moments that become viral. And that, for sure, you can show that to anybody and be like, even if they're under, into arm wrestling or not, and just be like, check check this moment out. It, the amount of uh, like MMA events, boxing events and stuff where you see two guys in a face-off and you know something crazy will happen, I don't think we've ever seen somebody get absolutely cracked in the head with a beer bottle or beer can. We're going to find out whether, I think it was a beer can, but uh, it has happened last time that, that they had with Paul Maiden and Evan Bitcoin did the same thing. This was a bigger hit. This was a big, a big hit on Michael John and Jake Ward, the Aussie arm wrestler. Kudos to you, my friend, jumping in and grabbing hold of uh, Evan Bitcoin as this uh, this sort of brawl between the two of them broke out. <laughs> but uh, the other highlights in, in the press conference that will probably get skipped over because this would be the focal point. Uh, we saw Pork Chop uh, coming up to the table and he's going to, he's very excited, very focused and disciplined for his match uh, as well. And we've got Matei Warangi Hedda Morris all the way over from New Zealand, the 165 kilo monster. And he'll be facing against another giant of the sport, James Stewart who is an absolute monster of a man himself, and he will be facing off against Matai Warangi Morris. So what an absolute moment for this young man to see if he's got what it takes to really rise through the ranks and push to the next level of the arm wrestling tier structure, and that is Matai Warangi Morris. And, of course, we've got Ryan Bowen and Ron Bath as the main event of the evening, and uh, Ryan being very respectful in his uh, moment when he had the microphone and he uh, brought up about Ron's 42 years of arm wrestling experience and that he respects Ron uh, very much, but he believes in himself and he believes that he can win the match. So uh, Ron Bath obviously saying that he likes the energy of the youth, uh, but he isn't there to fool around and he's going to bring his A-game to take down Ryan Bowen in this main event. Armgods.com, check it out. It is literally five bucks. It is five five dollars for this event and uh it's and not only do you get the event it's a month of arm gods content uh, which you can cancel straight after the the event if you like but there is so much value to that uh that five dollars that that you uh get from the arm gods website including seminars and, and all the different training videos and stuff it's it's insane and i have learned a lot from watching guys like Paul Maiden teaching different seminars. So check that out and have a look at armgods.com. It will be at Valhalla 3 tomorrow. And uh, we are here in Carlingford, Ireland. And thank you for watching. This is Hollywood McConnelly. I'll give you another double bicep just to finish it off. And thanks again.